Welcome to a video from the thegistlives.com New Windows 10 build to look at This is build 20226 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel I've got my Windows Inside Anniversary uh, backdrop here Which I quite like that, that's what Microsoft gave out yesterday Okay, so what's changing this build? And there is just a couple of things and uh, in settings I'm going to show you one of them And one of them is, this, is, this, is a, an alert um, to tell you if you've got an impending hardware issue on your storage device. So if I go over to the blog post where you can see you'll get a thing like this and it'll tell you that you've got um, an error or a hardware anomaly on your uh, NVE SSDs and then once you get that you can go into storage settings and have a look at that. Now this storage setting here which is now working on my uh, Surface Go here, you can see it's all healthy. This wasn't working in previous builds, so this is actually a fix in this build. So if I had that error, you would you would see it in there. The rest of the changes are all fairly minor, and that, that's the screenshot of what the error looked like. Um, something that's changed is that the your um, sync theme from one PC to another isn't autom it, it, They're getting rid of that feature, so sync themes don't come across anymore. So. Um, when you set a PC up for the first time, it does download that if you want to access it from another from a sync device. But going forward, you're not going to have that that sync. So you set each device up separately. And Windows 8 used to have a full sync in and everything, but uh, they seem to have gradually over time got rid of that. Um, they've there's some other fixes or changes you can see. Uh, you can see PWA running on the Task Manager. Um, if you if you're in File Explorer, you right click on a zip file that's in OneDrive and was view only. Uh, it, you can now see the option, the extract all option, before you had to download it and then and then do that. Um, there's some fixes in this build as well. You can see the one I've showed you, the settings when you go into the Manage Disk and Volumes, that's now working. Uh, they fixed some issues with the Linux distro uh, where you had an, an error, uh, RPC error. They fixed some issues with speech recognition. Uh, they fixed some issues of turning drop shadows off and it would reappear. Um, you see there, there's, there's a whole load of them on here, but I think that disk one was the main one. They fixed the issue there with the uh, DNS setting as well. There's still some known issues. Um, that one there, installing it for hanging for a long period of time, I still haven't seen that, so um, no issues on that for me. And um, there's still an issue with the VE for the adapter in Linux subsystem uh, that gets disconnected as well. So those are the main issues and the fixes. There's the main one is uh, you've got this new di disk health thing, which is really good because you can just ignore it normally. And if there's, an, uh, if there's an issue, it'll let you know. So thanks for watching this one. You can find out more on thislifestyle.com. I'm at iSticks on Twitter and I'll see you on the next build video.